gentlemen. Why so glum? Klaus, I presume. In the flesh. Thanks for the loan, I mate. Any reason you stopped by to say hi? I told you and your brother fancy my doppelganger. Just thought I'd remind you not to do anything you regret. Huh. Thanks for the advice. I don't suppose I could talk you into a postponement by any chance, huh? You're kidding. He is kidding, right? No, not really. I mean, come on, what's one month in the whole grand scheme of things? Let me be clear. I have my vampire. I have my werewolf. I have everything I need. The ritual will happen tonight. So if you want to live to see tomorrow, don't screw it up. I wasn't aware you'd been invited in. I've come here to tell you that you have to postpone the ritual. Didn't we already have this conversation? Yeah, but that was before I rescued your werewolf and vampire and killed your witch. Excuse me. And you can kill me for it. I don't care. It was all me. Katarina, give us a moment. with his brother's girl. I knew one of you would try to stop me. It was just a 50-50 guess on who. <laughs> the nice thing about werewolves is they tend to travel in packs. Need a closer look. Jules. When you spend a thousand years trying to break a curse, you learn a thing or two. First rule, always. Have a backup. Backup werewolf. Backup witch. Backup vampire. I've got that covered too. I see they've opened the doors to the riffraff now. Oh. You see, I promised Stefan I wouldn't let you die, but how many freebies did I really sign up for? And clearly you want to die, otherwise you wouldn't be here, so. What can I say? I'm a thrill seeker. Oh dear, what was that? I'm a little boozy, so you forgive me if I miss your heart the first few tries. No, that's not it. Almost. You want a partner in crime? Forget Stefan. I'm so much more fun. Oh, you won't be any fun after you're dead. Really? Not in my bar. You take it outside. You don't have to negotiate your brother's freedom. When I'm done with him, he won't want to go back. Cheers, mate. Down the hatch. You know, we've actually got a lot in common, you and I. Really? <laughs> well, yeah, maybe we can bond over our mutual loathing of my brother. Why are you so mad at him? He stole something? My family, the originals. I had them daggered, boxed up, awaiting the day when I saw fit to wake them, and he went in and pinched the bloody lot. <laughs> 
course you did. Ah, uh, such a buzzkill, my baby bro. Well, I'd love to find him. Just the trouble is, I sure as hell don't work for you. You know your drink stinks of a vein, so I can't compel you. There'd be no point killing you because you're actually the one with the most hope of getting me what I need, and yet it would seem a demonstration is in order. Perhaps I wasn't clear enough when I told you to find Stefan. Oh well. It seems you people respond best to displays of violence. Why don't you take this as an example of my reach? There he is. So that thing I told you to do, why don't you go ahead and get on with it? And me? Awesome. You gonna do this in the grill? In front of everyone? It's a little beneath you, don't you think? I don't know what you're talking about. I just came down to my local pub to grab a drink with a mate. Get around in, would you, Tony? Surprised you stuck around town long enough for happy hour. My sister seems to be missing. Need to sort that out. Cute, blonde bombshell, psycho. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Truth is, I've grown to rather like your little town. Thinking I might fancy a home here. Now, I imagine you're wondering, how does this affect you? And the answer is, not in the slightest. As long as I get what I want and everyone behaves themselves, you can go on living your little lives however you choose. You have my word. What more could you possibly want? Well, for starters, you can tell me where I might find Stefan. Stefan skipped town the second he saved your ass. Well, you see, that is a shame. Your brother stole from me. I need him found so I can take back what's mine. That sounds like a class and Stefan problem. This is me broadening the scope, sweetheart. For your eyes. I They're swear. Blue. They are <laughs> I could Look at what the cat dragged in. Nice vest. Oh, thank you very much. Good to see you, Damon. Uh, Carol and I were just discussing whether you'd be tonight's other big benefactor. What do you say, Damon? Class has made a very generous pledge. No. You know how we're chomping at the bit to begin the renovation. Mm. Carol, and don't take this the wrong way. But do you realize that you've been kissing the ass of an immortal hybrid who ruined your son's life? Oh, come now. Some might say I saved it, what with all that nasty full moon business. I never had to go through it myself more than twice, to be honest. But still, I'm very sympathetic. Klaus has promised to protect Tyler Damon and our town. From who? His hybrids are the ones that the town needs protection from. Well, I'd have no use for them if your brother would kindly return my family. Not gonna happen. That's what I thought. Which is why I've come to an agreement with the mayor. You and the council stay out of my hair, I'll stay out of yours. Your town gets protected, my hybrids get left alone, and everybody will be happy. All you have to do is to get Stefan to stop decapitating my friends. Please, Damon. Just get your brother under control, or the council will be forced to take action against him. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh, come on, mate. Give peace a chance. What now? You just pulled me away from a fascinating conversation about landscaping the town square. Stefan just grabbed Elena. Well, he's getting desperate. He's gonna try and use her against you. Do what he says. Get rid of your hybrids. Or what? Stefan would never dream of killing her. Sure about that? He just tried to behead someone in the middle of a council party. He's operating on crazy right now. Well, crazy or not, that kind of love never dies. He's bluffing. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't, but if you don't want to believe him, believe me, I know my brother better than anyone, and right now I don't have a clue how far he's willing to take this, so if he says blink, I suggest you blink. Sure. What took you so long? Hiding behind your witchy friends, and in squalor, no less. Insulting a bunch of dead witches, not smart. 
I made the exact same mistake first time I came in here. Well, you know, the funny thing about witches is that living or dead, they care about their own. A hundred dead witches have a thousand living descendants. And I have no problem killing every last one of them if I don't get my coffins back. As we speak, my hybrid friend is prepared to end the Bennett line. Now. Please, show me the coffins. Well, uh, here's the thing. They, they can't. It's not here. What did you do? Well, Bonnie gave me the heads up. I mean, I didn't have enough time to get all four, but I did have time to get one. I will tear you limb from limb. And only then, when you are a writhing mass of blood and flesh, Will I rip your heart from your chest? Sorry. Same rules apply, you know. Leverage and all. I know you want your family back. But something tells me you want what's in that coffin a lot more. <laughs> I should have killed you months ago. Do it. It's not gonna stop Esther from killing you. What did you say about my mother? You didn't know I was friends with your mummy? Yeah, we have a lot in common. She eats as much as I do. Leave it! Leave. No. Go on. Leave. Nick, he's my plaything, not yours. I said, <clears throat> go. Before you hurt yourself. <laughs> wow. We see that you can finally be compelled. Now. <clears throat> Minus the stake that's in my brother, how many more stakes are out there that can kill me? Eleven. Eleven! Really? So not eight, then? You really shouldn't have lied. I'll get you the other three. Yeah, that'd be nice. Or since you lied, maybe I'll just compel your brother to chew out his own tongue. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Do you really have no appreciation for me? I have given you someone to hate, to loathe, a target for all of your anger, so you don't have to turn it on yourself. I've given your life Purpose. Let's cut the dramatics and begin, shall we? First Matosri. Naslex Viras. Sequitus Seginus. Amentus Aston Michan. Egapetos. Esther's fighting. Esther couldn't possibly have this much power unless she's channeling something. A hot spot. Get the humans ready. I know where she is. Now. Mm. Poor lad. Loses one questionable father figure only to be replaced by the likes of the two of you. Yeah, about that. Something happened. Oh, I know all about my mother's invulnerable little creation. That's why I'm here. I'm leaving town just need to pick up a few road trip necessities. Spare tire, flashlight. 
doppelganger. Can't help you there. Okay. How about Damon sneaks in and distracts Alaric while Stefan grabs Lena and carries her to safety? That's a great idea. What's to stop me from getting killed instantly? Nothing. Caroline's in there. Don't you have a thing for her? Or did she just reject you too many times? This isn't really uh, helping to. Keep it up, buddy. I'll be scraping you off the ceiling. You two are going to kill me anyway. Well, let's not well. be too hasty. I feel like we're just getting to know each other. Let's start with the basics. Where are you from? What do you know? Maybe you can cue me in on this greater evil because I've fought this guy and there's nothing more evil than that. Yeah, truth be told, I'm as evil as it gets. I'm not telling you anything. You think if you kill me, it's gonna be over? There's another waiting to take my place. See, this is what I like to hear. Vague threats, ominous prophecies, disappearing tattoos. What do you mean, tattoos? No bother, you can't see the damn thing. There's more to you than meets the eye, isn't there? Nice try, but I'm faster than your average vampire. than your average hunter. I'm sorry, did I interrupt playtime? The hell are you doing here? I'm simply appreciating the sights and smells of nature, neither of which presently include rotting vampire flesh, so I'm a bit concerned. How many vampires has he killed? If we throw Jeremy out into the world right now, he's chum. Yeah, see, that's not a number. Twelve, that's a number. That's how many of my hybrids I slaughtered with my sword. Three, that's how many days it took to quell the urge to kill your brother after he knowingly watched as I walked into a death trap. One, that's the number of purposes you serve. You are here to grow Jeremy's mark, so I'll ask again. How many vampires has he killed since he's been here? Zero. <laughs> that's a pity. I'm gonna need that cure sooner rather than later. Hybrid shortage and all. How can I help? You know, now that you mention it, Jeremy, watch and learn. <laughs> that was for Carol Lockwood. Oh no, you turn him, he kills him. That was the deal, Klaus. I'm taking artistic license. You know we can't take them all on at the same time. With you as his coach, he'll be fine. It's Matt I'm worried about. Uh. Jeremy, go get the weapons out of the car. I'll be right behind you. Both of you. If I hear an engine start, I'll kill Matt myself. You know, none of this would be an issue if you'd have just done your job properly. I was perfectly willing to let you train, Jeremy. No, you weren't. Kidding, you got there day two. You know how hard it is to get these Xbox brains to focus? And then, when I turned a room full of barflies into vampires for him to slaughter, you let Cole kill them. Your brother problem, not mine, buddy. And whose bright idea was it to saddle Jeremy with a conscience? Mm -hmm. Well, couldn't have him trying to stake Elena in her sleep now, could we? Ah, yes, for the love of Elena. How is it that she manages to overlook every horrific thing you've ever done? Is it willful ignorance or perhaps something more pathological? Some people are just more capable of forgiveness than others. I bet you score about a negative 500 in that realm. Come on. There must be a secret. It can't just be the sire bond. What is it? Compulsion? Manipulation? What is it you say to her?
I think that this has something to do with a certain blonde vampire. I think you murdered Carol Lockwood, and I think you're worried that Caroline's never gonna forgive you. You've done worse. Debatable. See, I don't mind being the bad guy. Because somebody has to fill that role and get things done. You do bad things for no reason. You do them to be a dick. Debatable. If you're gonna be bad, be bad with purpose. Otherwise, you're just not worth forgiving. Your brother's lack of communication is infuriating. It's one of his trademarks, like his brooding and his hair. I don't understand what's taking so long. I mean, how hard is it to steal a dagger? From a vampire who's been stabbed by it as many times as your sister, I'd say difficult. <sighs> Sweet. You disappoint me, Damon. You're not trying very hard to get out of here. I expected more the daring escape artist, less the sell potato. Well, I am compelled to kill Jeremy, so I figured it's probably smarter to sit in here and chit-chat with you than try and bust out of here like the Hulk. How do you think Elena felt about that, by the way? Your inability to overcome Cole's compulsion for a single moment, even though it meant killing the person she loves the most in the world. She's met me. She knows impulse control's not my strong suit. Still. Must be hard trying to live up to Stefan. I remember when I compelled him to feed on Elena. He fought so hard he actually managed to resist. Now that's love. What do you know about love? I know that you're in love with Elena. But I think you're afraid of what might happen when we find the cure at the end of the rainbow. Personally, I don't see a fairy tale ending for you. All I see is Stefan and Elena. I think you see the same thing. What an unpleasant surprise. So I just came up with a list. It's called Things You Suck At. Number one, finding Catherine, ever. Number two, Covering up your secret phone conversations with that little backstabber, Haley. Yeah, so, where is she? What does she know about Catherine? I should help you. Mm. After you lot killed my brother and imprisoned me in the Gilbert living room. You might want to prioritize, Klaus. You have much bigger problems. Catherine has the cure. My guess is she's going to want to cram it down your throat. You help me find Catherine. I'll get the cure. I'll give it to Elena. Everybody wins. Just let me question Haley about Catherine. Can't help you, mate. Haley's off limits. Although I, I did have a run-in with a vampire who may know where Katerina is. Too bad for you. A bit halfway through his bloody neck, he probably won't have much time for chit-chat. <laughs>